and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with uh, very limited equipment, limited soldier classes, less hit points and a better advent and a better chosen. It's time for a supply raid operation. Sweaty Crown is upon us. And this time it is important for us to get Elerium and Alois because that will eventually help us to finally upgrade our snipers as well as a couple of other items. So hopefully we strike really, really big. In between us and essentially the enemy is a, um, a Spectre Prime well, that is leading quite a few enemies, potentially even more than one Spectre Prime. So. What we're going to do on that non-timed mission is we're bringing Sandman with us, Secundus for shredding, Toxic, Jaranx uh, this time as our frontliner, got that nice little proximity mine here that I want to try out, and Zuhuger plus uh, Michael Public Bravo. So kind of a B team slash C team, more so C team uh, sort of uh, setup. All of them with the exception of Secundus and Sandman are relegated to the C team. It says very difficult, so maybe, just maybe, we're going to uh, see a Chosen there, but it's unlikely. Uh, the uh, African con uh, continent is no longer controlled by a Chosen. So let's see how well we're going to play. Oh boy, did I forget to show you most of the mission. Oh boy, oh, that might be the biggest failure so far. OBS is uh, is uh, not working well. Okay, guys, so this will then be a short episode. I truly apologize, but um, a lot of uh, footage is lost. So let me talk you through what happened. Uh, we were essentially starting uh, down here. And uh, we did engage the first pack, which was Elite, Spe Elite Spectre plus um, two further um, two further Advent. I figured, you know what, uh, not a problem. A casual Advent pack plus a uh, Mac, which is currently lying over there, came along. We took over the Mac, and, and all hell broke loose because there was a tower over here firing down. And essentially, another um, another Spectre Prime had triggered right here, together with four other um, uh, four other Spectres. So all of a sudden, we were fighting like six Spectres at the same time. Two of them, no, seven Spectres actually. Two of them Primes, and luckily we had uh, that Mac, which was just nicely absorbing all of the shots. Uh, a little bit later, you can see a few Spectres over here. Uh, they were trying to take the flank, we were removing cover and killed all of the specters. Long story short, I cleaned all of that up um, and it was a bit of a technical play because uh, that tower still existed, I couldn't move forward. Another super heavy mech came in, I couldn't uh, move forward, we killed the mech. Uh, there was another um, purifier which exploded most of the cover here. So. Lots and lots of kills uh, with quite a little um, with quite little uh, placement, and then we have this bad boy here, a Sectorport Prime, Ooh. and that's really where I uh, realized for the first time that I hadn't been recording like a absolute retard. Um, OBS prevented me from recording, so truly, truly apologize for kind of uh, mid-mission briefing. I wish I would have had that um, footage. I might replay parts of uh, the mission uh, just so uh, that um, uh, then we wouldn't come to the same outcome. Yeah, it's lost, unfortunately. Okay, so uh, what I was trying now is, and I wanted to showcase uh, that, um, that here, I'm trying to uh, uh, take hold of that sector port prime with our ability to haywire protocol it and if a pack is pulled and you're trying to haywire protocol it will not activate the pack unless you're successful and we are definitely going to get that sector port prime there 
That's potentially the strongest unit I've ever haywire protocol. So the last time didn't work. Let's try it again. Doesn't work either. And here is where I originally said, you know what? I'm going to fast forward that and wanted to pause the recording uh, just to realize that I actually have never recorded. So let me fast forward. And the next time. Come on. All right, fast forward. And the next time. All right, one more time. And another time. Here we go. Looks good, looks good. Uh, just not enough. Attempt number seven, I think. Here we go. Looks good, looks good. Looks not as good as I thought. And attempt number eight. Come on. Nope. Attempt number nine. <laughs> nice try. You know what they say, tennis charm. No, I actually don't say that. The moment that I do not uh, record it, the 11th attempt, I was like, yeah, you know, we don't want to record it every single time. It finally worked. And here we go. For that moment alone, I think that uh, this episode might be worth it. Hell yeah, Sectorport Prime is hacked. And guess what? You guys are effing screwed. Because if you like it or not, that Prime is going to spread you into pieces. So, what's the deal? Immunity to fire poison and mental attacks. Yep, that's fine. We got the sector blaster and yeah we're going to see what else he can do next turn might as well hit uh this that guy nope that was a miss we're going to remain very well in cover back here with our overwatch uh, trap and they can now deal with the sector port that's a solid miss that's a hit we should get a reaction <laughs> the annihilation protocol wow okay well talking about talking about really really poor timing these guys have really really poor timing hi stance yes please moving over here Yep, and we're nicely shredding these guys. At the same time, it feels like we want to hit that sector port ourselves. Fantastic. <laughs> so whenever he's hit, he's going to lash out to an enemy. Okay. Well, I can live with that. Go, go, go. Moving up. We do have a few turns to deal with him. In the meantime, let's just dish out some damage, some non-resistible.
Good. We're moving all the way over there. Frank's moving also over there. And I want to shred it next round. Eventually get it down. A sector port prime is strong enough to deal with the entire enemy force just by itself. Like, think about it. They are they are taking shots at it every single time they do. Okay, now it's just moving around instead of taking shots. Not very clever, but okay. Oh, I see. It needed to reload. Well, that's okay. You could have told me in advance. Very nice. to mark it we're going to dead eye it fantastic Great to see that every single hit essentially means that the enemy also takes damage. Good. The cannon is empty again. so that we can engage next turn. Will do. High ground and overwatch. Good, one more turn. Whilst the guy is hacked. Nope, you're not allowed to run into us. Good, we're reloading again. And let's prepare that mech here. Almost done. And thankfully we get a second shot. Boy, that sector board prime is so unbelievable strong. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh boy! That guy was strong, and unfortunately it was a much shorter mission than um, I would have loved to show you. There was quite a bit of combat before we even joined uh, the mission, but just take my word for it, two, um, two Spectre Primes, I think five other Spectres, uh, four Advent, and... Or two, three advent and two heavy mechs before we even engaged into that. Well, well. What a mission. The sector port prime would be a fierce combatant if we were to fight against him for reals. Good, we're taking wrecking ball. Still no improvement on the health department. Sentman, however, finally. Oh, nice! He gets tactical rigging. That is so good. 
and an additional claymore i wish we could take ben uh, banish but that is clearly the better option highlands however isn't bad either and tactical rigging will help us as well that allows us to maybe take uh, the resell thing sphere um, so that's actually a good item on sandman because he's so much better once he's in stealth right and having that upgrade to a cavalier isn't bad either because we get an aim upgrade on top of it 70 and 40 might be enough for us to get the sniper rifles going yeah just about 50 elarium and we're taking the plasma lance super helpful i am contemplating if we go with arc blades because they can stun and mm. that would help against um against the primes but then again that's such a low chance yeah that's such a low chance okay good very good so that was a shorter mission today let's take a look what else did we want to do oh yeah making contact for sector two australia And here we go. We've located the elders hunter. Now we got life fire training, which finally will give us what I wanted originally. New recruits. So we wanted another ranger. Let's begin the training. And I think another well sharpshooter we have plenty. Maybe another Grenadier would make sense. Good. In terms of just dealing with all of that, how about we're getting some assorted loot? Because those could be additional grenades and maybe even Elarium cores. We're still waiting to be able to access the Chosen's Vault uh, in nine days. That'll be our next target. Gatekeeper Autopsy is fantastic. And we got another sniper rifle option here. Yeah, why not? That's another... That's an additional upgrade slot for the sniper rifle. Won't matter as much for the main team, because they're... We're essentially having uh, the Darklands, and that is a fully upgraded sniper rifle. But it might be helpful for our secondary and tertiary team. Advanced Repeater, that's bad. To say the least, it's disappointing. Can't even use uh, that item. Good. We finally got level 3 training, and look at that. Our prime team looks crisp, super sharp. Level 3 bonds all across the board. Um, Primus, of course, can't have a bond, but Skirmisher plus uh, Spark, really good um, really good combination. Uh, the Skirmisher, yeah, well, we don't have seven soldiers, so can't really bond uh, anyone with a Skirmisher. But yeah, level 3 bonds, uh, it's definitely a good start. And from an equipment perspective, these guys are looking good as well. We got the uh, full upgraded uh, sniper rifle with armor penetrating rounds. Proto had uh, the not yet upgraded uh, suit. But had the stasis vest, 21 hit points, that's good. Boards as the energy cannon. Yep, that's great as well. Reckoner, we already looked at it. 
at the plated vest, which by the way benefits a lot from the upgrade. Three healths and two armor is huge. It's actually quite good. And quick feed is now at 61 dodge. If we play our cards right, we can get it to 100. Hasmas vest, dragon rounds, Rashi, a katana. Super good equipment. Love it. Okay. That team looks incredibly strong. Don't need to go to the black market. Yeah, I don't need to heal faster. We don't need supplies either. You know what? In case of doubt, let's gain s let's get some board. intel. We need more alloys and delirium, maybe some supplies, but soon we're going to get another income. And that should get us uh, the remaining upgrades in the GTS and maybe the few weapon upgrades that are missing. Commander, we're picking up an emergency transponder signal. It looks like the last And you know what? Since uh, this year was a short uh, episode, let's do an ambush as uh, as a consolidation prize. I know it's not the best, but it is at least something. So we're going to um, we're going to do that rescue. I've seen a couple of times that people were asking just how do I do uh, the um, these missions, specifically if there are a couple of um, more dangerous foes, and we can take a look at it. Good, and we are landed. So a couple of things towards these missions. Spoil boy, they can be daunting when you play them the first time. I personally think that the very beginning of the mission might be the most difficult one. And it it gets even a bit more difficult um, if you have enemies like the Andromedon in here. The Andromedon is, for, for that pair of soldiers, it's the worst potential enemy that, that we could get. So we gotta play smart. Your team is compromised. We're picking up advent response forces inbound on your position. We do have ever vigilant, which means we can fully move and still get an overwatch. And Ross also takes an overwatch. The first challenge is to deal with the first incoming uh, pack. That's a pack of three. And it depends a bit on the RNG. This is where uh, sometimes you end up taking a few wounds. You basically have the ambush phase that we currently have. And afterwards you got one round to go. Okay, yep, we hit him. Oh, that's good, thank you. As you can see, they have quite a few hit points, so... This is going to be a challenge. So I'll move over to here, because uh, that's a full cover, not flankable position. And I assume we're going to kill that elite officer. There we go. Implaceable could get us into that spot here. Even better, even further away. Okay, cool. Wait, sorry. So half cover is not a great, um, not a great prospect here. This guy is a bit further away, but yeah, we can't kill him with one go, which is why I would potentially take full cover, high ground. It's 3 to 6 damage, and that is solid 6 damage, guaranteed. Uh, 
plus the swarm is echoing really close and this is where we didn't have the firepower to really get them down hoping for the loss to come in uh, to come in soon all right so far so good that's where the lost swarm really um, is helpful because now we're going to use the lost in order to deal with their overwatch But this should be a kill into death from above. All right, no death from above. Gotcha. Good. We're eight for calling ourselves with Tapper here. The boss might be coming soon. And that trooper. Needs to take a hit. Shot failed to connect. Gonna need to reload soon. Where is potential uh, potential position for him? Taking every fire. The lost are now going to swarm you, buddy. Oh, they are crashing my CPU either way. Good, we have Between the Eyes. Best mod ever. Enemy destroyed. We're leaving a few over uh, leftovers for the trooper all right reload we get a free implaceable which I would love to you uh, would like to use because we can move to here into another full cover position Lost dies and oh, let's hit that trooper. Nice to remove the cover yet again, thanks to the awesomeness of plasma weapons. And this should be a kill. Since the last one is not a lost dasher, it won't be able to reach us. So, a bit complicated uh, start. Normally it's uh, more straightforward, but generally I would always play it similar to what you've just seen. Taking that implaceable to move over here. All right. Back in. Back online. Good, we're moving to the next balcony. The next advent is typically here. We've, uh, we know, but um, according to the mission briefing, it's an Andromedon and a mutant pyro. So it might as well be the mutant pyro. Putting ourselves on top of the ladder so that the losts can't come up. I'm on it. I've got movement here. Yep, and definitely there, uh, there is an enemy there. It's the mutant pyro, as you can see. Moving slightly up. It's down. And thanks to Implaceable, we can actually move up and see a bit more. Enemy down. Oh, 
All right, Overwatch, Overwatch. Whether the mutant is going to be triggered remains to be seen. But yeah, the pyro is a dangerous foe. We gotta be careful with that one. Tepper continues to move, reload, and thanks to Implaceable, we always got that free additional movement. I think what we're going to do is using a scanning protocol. I want to see where that mutant is. Okay, he's just waiting over there. Fantastic. Anything else that we've seen? No, no, no. Good. We're reloading just in case if the fight against the mutant takes a bit longer. I like to have a fresh magazine. Missed an opportunity there. Get the guy down. Good, we're using a protocol really solid cover and he took some damage fantastic might be a kill shot good we were lucky with that one but he would have not hit us not very likely Moving up. We now know that there is no one near. Go, go, go. So we're taking the next high ground. And you're essentially just clearing building by building in a concise and calm fashion. No running, no rushing. Of course, you could try to sneak it and get up there. But what's the point? Moving. Heading there now. Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem. Nothing that we can cannot deal with, but it is a bit of a problem. We gotta shred this guy. I'm wondering if I can reach him. Ah, okay, not the end of the world. We definitely do not want him to hit, and we want more losses. Which is why we're using a grenade. Lost Swarm was only one bit uh, away. And now the loss will act as Mimic Beacons for us. Moving to here, next turn we're going to throw a grenade right into his ugly face. Good, that car is going to explode, the explosion will trigger more loss, and currently he's busy, that's fantastic. Alright, that's one. I 
be careful here with half cover. One thing that I learned about about these guys is uh, they hit like a truck and if they hit they hit really really well Good. so this is implaceable repositioning taking another hit those guys here are currently focused on us so we want to be careful but that Will not cause a problem. Between the eye nicely works out. And this might trigger more loss soon. Okay, fantastic. There we go, very soon more loss will come. He overwatches, the loss will just eat the overwatch. Tepper continues to aid protocol himself. Let's hit the loss first. That gives us movement. Can we flank him? Ah, the problem is the suit. The suit will be able to reach us. Unless, of course, we're taking a nice little stroll back. point where I make a couple of tough choices and see the guy from up here and the question is if we're in full cover just what's what's the chance that we're going to hit him I think I'm just going to risk taking the okay. hit Instead of being hit by that uh, huge plasma um, weapon, this one here is an easier. A, it has 50-50, and B, it won't kill us with, with one go. There we go. Gamble paid off. a tiny bit further back what's our chance to shut this guy down if it is above 90% I will potentially just just do that yeah no point in a non-timed mission to play the hero so what we're going to do is we're going to reload and we're just going to shut this guy down the loss can't reach us, not this turn. And you always need to think about making sure that you're not getting hit. And if you play it defensively, just like I'm uh, doing it, it kind of uh, becomes relatively straightforward. Of course, this is not uh, super attractive gameplay for repetitive cause, but since I have been asked to showcase how it's done, might as well do it. Let's start 
hitting the shell because we need damage on it for next turn once the stun is off we actually need to be able to kill it good That was replaceable. And someone tell me that specialists aren't absolutely overpowered. That's such a great class. Won't be good enough to go with a pistol, so might as well take that sniper shot. Unfortunately, a miss. So we're potentially taking one hit. Yep, there we go. I deserve that one. Should have potentially just use combat protocol. Because then I could have used the pistol in order to kill him. But not sure if there is another advent here. It says alien activity, so I guess yes. And the way we're going to figure that out is by using our other scanning protocol. Well, no one is near. Might as well make a run for it. Got a nice little loss swarm here. Okay. One down. Let's move over here with Implaceable. here not the optimal placement for cover but far enough away to not be reached by them and I think we've uh, I think killed all of uh, the Athens ever kills one gets a free movement we're definitely going to use that There's another one. Stepping off. I've got eyes on that bit true. Oh, that was unfortunate. Let's take it. What's our chance to just disable it? 100% we're going to take exactly that Yeah, that was suboptimal should have 
Uh, just stayed a, f uh, stayed a bit further back. going to bother with uh, that one I'm out of here. I'm going. no need uh, to hunt that one xp that's essentially how you extract it and yeah if you play it a little little bit better uh, you do not even take wounds so that's a pretty straightforward mission good so we got a promotion here we're taking return fire And now let's see if someone actually gets captured. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Fantastic. No one got captured. This latest piece of intel on the chosen And we're ready to infiltrate. Commander, we just heard from the resistance. They found a That's way maybe even our next stronghold. mission. Who knows? We shouldn't pass up this opportunity to take the fight okay, so gain the three mobility for the first two turns. That's a good one. Lots of promotions. Um, that's a good one. Because that should be a colonel... A colonel skirmisher. Recruit Templar wouldn't be bad either, but we can't use Templars. <clears throat> so no dodge anywhere. That is disheartening. But we got a good uh, resistance order here. That's not bad. And we got a recruit uh, skirmisher, which we're definitely going to do. So. Might as well put um, Iron Lady here and Russ, who had just helped on that mission. So that'll give us high level skirmisher. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. And in terms of Q, that would yeah, that would also conclude the month. Hmm. Let me see. Given that everybody is ready, it might be a good timing to hunt the hunter now. Modular sniper rifles for one day doesn't really make that much of a difference. But if we if we go soon, we would get the dark lands and the hunter also doesn't get his crackdown off, so we're saving some income. But the Darklands is is the main uh, reason why we would want to do it. Also, it gives us an option to deal with um, uh, with highly armored targets, as the offhand uh, ignores any form of um, any form of armor. Well, not any form, but five uh, dots of armor. So that's not bad. I think that's a uh, that's a pretty good set of weapons. In terms of preparation, there oh we got two cores. Well, let's make that work. Um, count I think experimental powered weapon was what we wanted, and blue screen protocol. We're starting with that, and then uh, experimental powered more weapon. More. Good blue screen protocol will give us EMP and the experimental uh, powered weapon are the strong heavy weapons so that we can use for the war suit for instance which necessarily brings us to the end of uh, this episode uh, thanks again for watching guys a bit of a different episode since we started um, midway in the combat but the next one's potentially going to be a banger as we're fighting against another chosen so stay tuned if you like the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.